In this video, we will see how we can design our own calendar layout in the Event Calendar Maker Excel template. So now I have the template open and we can see that I have already entered some sample data in this. And this is for a calendar that begins in January 2016 and I have three event types and I've chosen three different colors for that. And then we have three different events and the, they are all different frequency type and they have start and end dates. The template has seven different sheets or seven different calendar layouts. So we have the yearly design where event names are not displayed directly, but only the colors are represented on the calendar. And then yearly with events will actually list all the events and event names. And then we also have the calendar. And then the monthly is one page for each month. And there are 12 different pages. And then we have the monthly with events where we have the month design, but it also lists the event names on the calendar itself. And then we have the one month design, which is only one month, but we can, we can have up to 10 different events in on one single day. And so that that's the purpose of this design. And then we have weekly calendar design, which will list seven days. And then we have the daily with events and both the daily and the weekly can display up to 20 events or instances on a single day. So we have all these different types of designs, but sometimes you may want to create your own design on top of this. So let me give you a very simple tip where, which uses the functionality that is inbuilt into Excel. And so we can leverage that and then build our own design. So for example, we have the yearly design, which has three rows of four months each. So four, 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 12 months. So, and then we, when we go to the yearly with events, we have two months at a time in one row, and then we have six rows. And so sometimes you may have the need to have three months in a row, for example. So let's see how we can do it. I'm going to create a new sheet. And in this new sheet, we are going to design our layout. And so I will go to the yearly sheet, select January or the first month and make sure that we select six weeks and I'm going to copy control C and then I will go to the new sheet one which is opened and then I can click anywhere and then paste, paste as linked picture. And now what happens is we have created a copy or a linked image which is which which will represent or which will display whatever will be in these cells. And so this is what we have done. So we have got the January first and now let's go and do February. Make sure that you select all the six weeks and come back here, paste as edge and then we'll do one more. We can go to March, copy, sheet one, paste, linked picture. Okay, so now we have these three and just from a design point of view, let's say view, we don't want any grid lines. We can select all these three images together. So the, the way to select all three would be click on the first one, keep pressing the control key, select the other one, select the other one using the mouse. So that's how you can select multiple images or objects at the same time. And now these are pictures, basically images. And you can see that there is a new ribbon that has opened up called picture tools and we can click on the format. And now you will have more options to edit the image formatting. So you can probably apply a picture border if you'd like and you can change the color. Let's do green. So now what has happened is there is a thin green border that's been applied. And if you want a thicker border, you can do thicker border like that. So now we have created three and select all three. And if they're not aligned at the top, click align, align top. That makes sure that all three are in the same align alignment. And again, that's if that's what you want. If you want to create your own very creative design with three like this, however you want to design your calendar, it's all up to you. The main thing to remember is that you can copy a specific month here and then paste as paste as linked picture. That is the 
key message here in this video. So once we do this, you can also insert images. If you want to bring in your own logo, for example, click insert pictures and choose your logo. And the other thing to keep in mind is that these, the calendars show the events in different colors. So it is important that we also bring the legend so I will, for example, bring this copy and same approach. We come back here, home paste linked picture. So that puts the linked picture up here. So there we have it. And you can also bring in the events. For example, you could do the same approach and select these and copy and paste as linked uh, picture. Or you could even bring this for example, if you want to show what the events are and what frequency they are, copy that, come over here, and then do the same. There you have it. So now let's say, for example, this is what we want to do. And you can definitely add text anywhere. You know, uh, Excel allows you to do regular text or you can do text boxes or word arts and all that to make and design the calendar sheet however you would like. So I'm going to go in and say print area, set this as print area. And now let's see how it looks. So I am going to choose, let's say feet sheet on one page and I'm going to make it landscape. So this is our new design now. The, again, you can customize it the way you would like. A couple of things to note here. You, would notice that the quality of the image is slightly less than what you will see directly on these cells, directly on these cells versus the copied image. The image usually has slightly lower quality. So test it out, print it out and see if you're comfortable with the quality. You can definitely edit the size of these images. For example, when you go to format size, you will see the options to increase the scale or decrease the scale. And you can make sure that you have the lock aspect ratios checked so that you don't distort the image further. And you can also apply other formatting things like, you know, again, most of this wouldn't be applicable, but maybe this design. Okay, the other thing to keep in mind here is that don't apply any color options to this because keep in mind this whole point is about colors uh, displayed for events and so if you're using this for event calendars then this color would kind of defeat that purpose but if you want to change the color of this yes you can do it and you can change that uh, as you would like okay so now we have a design that we can print now let's test and see if I change any of the event data, will it get reflected here? That is an important test. So let's go back to the yearly events. And now we have only Mondays as the weekly event for team meeting. And you can see that here, only Mondays are shown in orange. Now what we're going to do is to see if we can also show Wednesday, I'm gonna select Wednesday and let's go to the sheet. You can see that Wednesdays now have orange. So it will work because it is only an image captured from the cells here. So whatever happens here will also appear here. Your new calendar design is automatically updating based on any changes in the inputs. And, and the other thing to note here is that these are the first three months of the calendar. So if you decide to change the beginning month instead of January, let's say we want this to start from May. So now what happens when we go to the sheet one, you will see that it shows May, June, July, because those are the first three months in our calendar here. So keep that in mind. It will reflect the first three months the way we designed it. It'll reflect the first three months. You can decide to choose instead of the first three, you can do the last three however we want. But again, the fundamental point here is that copy what you want from the calendar designs and then paste them as linked picture. The last thing I want to talk about here is when, for example, you go to the monthly design and if this design you know, is something that you would want to have, you can do the same approach here, paste as linked picture. So now this would be a bigger image 
and then you can have the following month as a smaller one. So that's another way you could have a combination of both designs into one of your own custom design. So this is what I wanted to cover in this video. If there are any further questions about how you can customize the calendar design or layout, please let me know in the comments. And thank you very much for watching the video.